Hi, welcome to the Dum Dum News Channel. I'm your host, Dum Dum. Now, I want to say thanks to all the fans out there. I did get some more subs, and I'd like to get some more subs. So make sure you share with a friend. Consider putting a like or a comment. That helps with the uh, algorithm and the YouTubies so that more people will see the truth that we're speaking here on the Dum Dum News Channel. So I have an article on my screen, and I'm not going to go over this article in particular, but I did want you to see it it's just so you know what kind of people are out there that you are probably supporting if you're watching the sports team or buying any of the merchandise. And I'm going to put a link in the description to this article so that you can read the whole thing for yourself. Most of us know that over the last few years, particularly the last four years, when Donald Trump was in office, the media and the left, the Democrats, have really made every issue about a fundamental race. And when I say race, I'm talking about skin color. Now, growing up, I know that there was racism. I did see it. But I believe over the years, the relationships have gotten better. But now it seems that they've taken a, war, a turn for the worse because of the hate and the division that they want to cause because they want you to vote for them so that they can be in power. And again, that's my opinion. So I found a bunch of clips of Mr. Denzel Washington speaking, and he happens to be in, in Hollywood, but uh, you know he has a different perspective on things. And I wanted to share that with you guys. People may say that we shouldn't listen to actors or athletes, but you know I think everyone has a voice. And in this case, I really like uh, what uh, Denzel's saying. So let's take a listen. Black people in particular, do you think that we can truly make change as things are right now? Well, it starts in the home. You know, if the father's not in the home, the boy will find the father in the streets. Yeah, I saw it in my generation and every generation before me and, and everyone since. It starts in the home. You know, if the, if the streets raise you, then the judge becomes your mother and, you know, and prison becomes your home. Agree 100%. It starts in the home. That's where you're going to get your essential values, your morals. Your, you know, that's where you're going to learn. And most people will, will agree that we want to grow up to be like our parents, uh, at least initially. That's uh, who we emulate and we idolize as uh, we grow up, as we grow up. In the next clip, we got a reporter who tries a trick Denzel into agreeing with his side, but Denzel doesn't fall for it. I want to just ask you, though, about the issue of race relations, because the film touches upon that. Uh, right now, under President Obama, over the last eight years, in your mind, has race, have race relations improved under his leadership? I, you know, race relationships have to do with race relationships. You're white or whatever you are. I'm black or whatever. I am. We're standing here talking now. That's how we get things done. You can't legislate love. The president of the United States can't legislate us into liking each other. We have to step forward and ask questions about each other and engage. There's no law that says, oh, because I'm president, you all got to get along now. So it's up to us. And I agree with him on that point right there, that uh, just because there's a president that's in office doesn't mean that the relationships between people, regardless of race, have to get better or have to get worse. It's all up to the individuals. We all should take individual responsibility for how we treat other people, regardless of race. And here the reporter uh, tries again with a different question. And again, Denzel has to school him. There's been so many protests in America, especially during the election, Black Lives Matter movement, for example, and those issues. Have, has that movement in particular, the Black Lives Matter movement, helped race relations or not in America? Well, listen, we live in America. And in America, we have the freedom to express ourselves. We shouldn't take that for granted. So whatever the movements are, whether you agree with them or don't, they have the right to express themselves. So that's one of the great things about being in this country, that you do have the right to protest. Denzel tells him, plain and simple, everyone in America has a voice and we have the right to express that voice with freedom of speech. And we shouldn't take that for granted. And I agree 100%. Everyone has a voice. You should be able to speak freely, give your opinions and, you know, all in all, we should be able to debate and have discussions and be able to move forward and make the country a better place for all. People are asked to do a speech at a graduation ceremony. And here, Denzel Washington does the commencement speech at Dillard University graduation ceremony of 2015, and he doesn't disappoint. Dreams without goals are just dreams, and they ultimately fuel 
disappointment. So have dreams, but have goals, life goals, yearly goals, monthly goals, daily goals. I try to give myself a goal every day. Sometimes it's just to not curse somebody out. <laughs> Simple goals, but have goals. And understand that to achieve these goals, you must apply discipline and consistency. In order to achieve your goals, you must apply discipline, which you've already done, and consistency every day, not just on Tuesday and miss a few days. You have to work at it every day. You have to plan every day. You've heard the saying, we don't plan to fail. We fail to plan. Hard work works. Working really hard is what successful people do. So continue to strive, continue to have goals, continue to progress. I agree with him 100% on what he just said. And just so you guys know, my goal this year was to make one video per day and grow the subscriber list to over a thousand sub subscribers. I know my content probably isn't the greatest, but I'm working on it and it's a work in progress. And with your help, I may be able to reach the goal of a thousand subscribers. Some of you will be doctors, some lawyers, some scientists, some educators, some nurses, some teachers. Yeah, okay. <laughs> some preachers. The most selfish thing you can do in this world is help someone else. Why is it selfish? Because the gratification, the goodness that comes to you, the good feeling, the good feeling that I get from helping others, nothing's better than that. Not, not jewelry, not big house I have, not the car, but the, the, it's the joy. That's where the joy is in helping others. That's where the success is. And I agree with that too. My whole, my whole point of making these videos is to help other people see a different point of view. I'm not asking you to agree with me or to side with me or to vote for a specific person. I just want you to know that there's two sides to every story and you really should listen and read both sides before you make a decision. Finally, I pray that you put your slippers way under the bed tonight so that when you wake up in the morning, you have to get on your knees to reach them. And while, you, when, while you're down there, say thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parents. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already and anything you want good you can have so claim it work hard to get it when you get it reach back pull someone else up each one teach one I agree with everything he just said 100% as well. I think if more people would live by those words that he just spoke, this place, this world, the United States would be a much, much better place. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference. Well, guys, that's the show for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, a thumbs up. For the Dum Dum News Channel, I'm Dum Dum. Go on. Hey.